You're demolishing that Hyderabadi biryani loaded with green chilies, tears streaming down, sweat pouring, but you keep going back for more. Why are we Indians literally addicted to burning our tongues over our beloved biryani? Your brain is being hijacked, and here's exactly how. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, we Indians have built our entire food culture around pain. We put green chilies in everything, compete over who can handle the spiciest curry, and our grandmothers make pickles that could melt steel. But this isn't just our culture, it's pure addiction. Meet the culprit capsaicin. This tiny molecule doesn't actually burn you, it's a master manipulator. It tricks your pain receptors into thinking your mouth is literally on fire when it's completely safe. Here's where it gets crazy. Your brain detects this fire emergency and panics. It floods your system with endorphins, your body's natural morphine. You're literally getting high from eating spicy food. But here's where it gets dangerous. Your pain receptors build tolerance. That green chili that made you cry as a child? Now you need Bajolokia just to feel something. We go from regular mirchi to gunpowder, then to those deadly Nagaland peppers. Your TRPV1 receptors literally change shape with repeated exposure. You're rewiring your own nervous system. Plus, capsaicin releases dopamine, the same chemical involved in gambling and drug addiction. This explains our entire Indian food culture. Andhra people put gunpowder on everything. Rajasthanis make lal mas that's basically liquid fire, and even Bengali fish curry has that killer mustard kick. We're not just cooking, we're collectively dosing an entire nation. So next time your non-Indian friends think we're crazy for eating that killer achar, tell them we're not mad, we're just victims of advanced neurochemistry. What's the spiciest Indian dish you've conquered? Drop your state and your spice level in the comments.